Hello everyone, Zen by Heaven Studio here. My name is Gisela and we're still going to be working with gel wax. This time we're going to make a under the sea team um, gel wax candle. So we're going to use, I'm going to use these two jars. This one you can see smaller. This one is a, a cut out glass um, bottle. It was cut, it was a square bottle but they cut it off. And this, and this one is the one that you can find on Dollar Tree. The square one so I'm using the wick um, for gel wax um, you can find that one on bitter creek this is the two, two small ones and this one is the large one okay I also have a little shells and starch starfish and stuff like that and also I got this little beads this little glass those are you can find it also on Dollar Tree so the ones that you put on your, on, on your base to put your flowers and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna use gel wax and the fragrance oils that I'm gonna use is gonna be high tie. All right, oh, and we also have sand. Um, I haven't got to the beach, so otherwise I would get the, the sand from the beach and clean it and everything and do it myself, but I have to order this one for a quick fix. So this one I got it from Amazon. So one of the first things that we're going to do with the sand, I don't know if this is, yeah, you're going to just pour sand on the base. Of your jar. Okay, this is very fine sand. So I've never used this sand before. I use regular sand. But I'm pretty sure it will work the same. I think sand is sand. You want to cover your sand. You want to cover your the bottom of your jar. And also cover. You don't want to cover the whole wick, but at least the base of your wig you want to cover it I think I'm going to use a whole bottle of this thing to be honest next time just go to the beach and get sand from the beach this is taking forever and normally when I make this type of candles because I know working with gel wax is kind of fast it's not slower as other waxes so yeah I use the whole thing okay, okay I use the whole ball okay so we have our base there we're gonna pour we're gonna pull put some of our crystals. Don't worry if the sands get on them. It's good, it gives a nice effect. this so you also can um, get crushed glass this one I got it also on Dollar Tree you're just gonna get just a little bit and you can kind of spread a little bit on the, on the body sorry for the background and this one is a glow-in-the-dark um, crush glass I got this one from Amazon so this one I'm gonna try on the other one okay. so we're gonna open our seashells and I'm just gonna get a few
And then we're gonna just pour, pour that. Okay, you can position it in a way that it look like it's very on the sand. Top of the rock. All right. Now we're gonna get our gel wax. So first, I'm gonna put a layer, a small layer of clear gel wax, and then it's gonna be a nice aqua blue um, color. Okay. So just a second. Let's get the wax ready. Okay, now um, we have our gel wax cooling. It's 231, so still too hot. So I'm gonna start preparing this one. I'll just give it a sec. All I can say, I'm gonna use the glow in the dark. some heat or the glass this one is a relative small so we're gonna use only four maybe yeah we're gonna add our seashells or One of our stars. I'm gonna add another C star here. Oh, the other one, no, this way. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna add a little more of the glow in the dark because I really want that effect. Because this is um sand and very in glass and very solid um type of embeds that we're using. You can little by little add. Okay, so you want to cover the first layer. You guys can see. See this cover. I'm going to do the same thing with a little one. making a mess come on go back in go back in I don't want you to drip no 
don't worry if gel goes on the wick you always can as a cool off you can put it back and be ready to continue okay because we didn't add no scent on this one it's going to be easier you're going to try to clean the sides and the side of your jar see so notice i have a space there that didn't get gel so here we go So you can see your embeds are secured there so they're not going to be moving all right now we're going to warm up our wax again but we're going to add the color and the fragrance oil okay if you're not comfortable to touching gel wax please don't do what i do i just do it because I know what I'm dealing with and I'm kind of used to but like I'm, many times I say no everybody has the same tolerance to hit to heat so please be safe always all right so now we're gonna warm up this I'm probably gonna use a little I'm gonna add a little bit more wax because it might not be enough for both of them okay just a second okay our wax is um, melting right now. So I have liquid dye, Arctic blue. I'm not gonna drop, I'm just gonna wet the tip on my toothpick and I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna put three dots. One, two, and this one, because it's smaller, I'm gonna put only three. And that's it for the color. You guys gonna see the nice effect that we're gonna get. Okay, now we have our gel wax all melted. Right now is 250. So the same tip of the, I'm gonna just put it a little bit. That will give it a nice bluish. But it won't be a completely blue color. say all right we're using solid um embed so don't worry about temperature oh wait we forgot to add the fragrance oil oh <sighs> let me see again okay we're gonna wait a few minutes let the temperature cool up a little otherwise it's gonna smoke and we don't want that okay now we're back our temperature is 200 So this is one pound of wax. For gel wax, I recommend only eight to six percent of fragrance oil. So let me turn this off. So good. Ooh, where do you think you're going? And we're gonna mix it. Remember, we have to mix it good because fragrance oils dilute your gel wax. So you guys can see, we have our blue 
dots there and this is what you're gonna see I guess this was enough for this one. I'm gonna have to melt a little more for the other one. Okay, well, you guys can see the blue. It's a nice effect. So it's almost like. And if you want, you can leave it with this, with the fun, like with the bubbles, because a lot of the bubbles are gonna come to the top, and it's all it's gonna look like like a nice wave. Okay. You can tap it a little; the bubbles will start coming up. And of course, we're gonna prepare our wigs. I think you guys start seeing and you guys start seeing how cool the effect of the blue <laughs> it looks so cute. Okay, so we're gonna put it on the side and we're gonna prepare a little more wax for this little fella over here. Okay, just a second. Okay, so now I'm back. I have prepared the wax for this one already. I added a little bit of color. Just with the toothpick, I add just a few, well, not just a few, just a little bit and mix it up. And this is the color that I got. So you guys are going to see it's a little darker. And remember, you still have the other blue. Um, oh, perfect. I love when I measure it so perfect. <laughs> yeah, you guys can call me crazy. I don't care. Um, so... The little blue you're gonna have the two pick or a longer pick if if you don't feel safe with the hot gel wax it's understandable one of the things i like to do i don't know why but the bamboo um tends to create bubbles when you use um, wood or, or bamboo in gel wax, I guess it's the, the porous and the air of the... or the wood that creates the bubbles. So the longer you have it on the hot gel wax, the more bubbles it will create. You can see I'm touching, but at the same time, I'm not touching my embeds. So, I'm happy. My embeds are safe. gonna let it set you guys can see you have your under the sea team gel candle embedded candle um i will show you guys the end once the wax is all cooled off and everything so you guys can appreciate the final result okay i can't wait to see you guys making candles and please share on the video um please share on the group um your creations i would love to see them um, and make me 
really happy and very proud um, that I'm able to share with you guys these techniques and you learn it and either for fun or for profit, whenever you want to do it, um, you get a very pretty candle. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Please um, always remember to like, share, and subscribe. Love you all. Please stay safe, stay strong, and stay blessed. Bye.